Good morning, my creative friends. Dr. Manette Riordan here. This is Painting in Your PJs Live with Manette with our new summer hours. Our new summer hours are going to be Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, which is <clears throat> excuse me, 7 a.m. Pacific and 9 a.m. over on the East Coast. So we've got new summer hours which I am grateful for. For the first day in weeks, I uh, got up to a beautiful blue clear sky and went out for a walk this morning. Good morning, Barbara. And um, <clears throat> wanna bring some of that gratitude to the canvas this morning. And so I thought I wanted to really share with everyone over the next couple of weeks what my what I'm calling my morning art activation processes. And that morning art activation process is all about connecting to my feelings and emotions on the page as a way, good morning Yvonne, to help me feel really anchored and ready for my day. And one of the ways that I like to do that is to paint over and over the same canvas for many days in a row. And so I thought I would over this week and next week, share what does that process look like and how do I really learn to let go? Part of what Painting in Your PJs is all about is simply sharing practices to get us over the fear of the blank page, practices to help us work through emotions, and practices that inspire our journey of self-discovery and personal growth. For me, art is an act of healing and transformation. I love making things that are beautiful. And sometimes what's more important is that I'm using my art in a way that just helps me feel better connected to myself. It is a form of radical self-care, just like eating and exercise. And good morning, Leslie. And my new summer hours allowed me to get out for an absolutely beautiful walk this morning before the call and before it gets too hot. So I'm super excited to be here with all of you. And so today I wanted to just paint through layers of feeling and emotion. I woke up feeling so much gratitude. There was a mostly full moon still in the sky and the sky was so blue this morning and we had crazy crazy hailstorms last night and there's so much like the leaves of the trees on the sidewalks and there's just um this uh detritus everywhere right in the ravages of the storm and yet this morning it's calm and clear and beautiful and I have been missing my gorgeous Colorado sunshine. We've had some very, very rainy weeks, and I noticed yesterday how much that just day after day of rain was really impacting me. So this morning, I'm just feeling a lot of gratitude, and so I want to paint through some of that gratitude this morning. And I always love to activate a canvas before I start painting on it. So this is just a 9 by, I think it's a 9 by 12, canvas board. I love these working on these hard boards. And I started with writing, I'm feeling grateful. And I'm feeling grateful for all of my feelings. I'm feeling grateful for some sadness over a friendship is changing. And it's not a bad thing. It's just a different thing. So I found myself wanting to be grateful even for the gratitude and for the depths of all of my feelings. I'm feeling so grateful for the, the green, those beautiful spring greens everywhere. And there are so many shades of green out there. And of course, I'm not finding the, the green that I want right now. But we've got the, the spruce green of the evergreens. We've got sage green of grasses that are growing. And then some absolutely just, you know, beautiful, bright sort of lime green, neon green, leaves growing everywhere. So this is often how I would start my morning art activation is with some writing to connect to how I'm feeling, just a little bit of color and scribbling. I love oil pastels for this process. Often this is the practice that I would do in my journal. 
and I would do my handwriting in my journal, draw over it, and be complete. But sometimes I want to take that process a little bit further and bring in some paint, or maybe I feel like I've got a little more emotional energy that I want to work for. And like I said, today I went for my walk and I'm just feeling such deep, deep gratitude this morning for blue skies. And Blanca, I was thinking about you on my walk because of the, uh, I know you guys have been having so much June gloom. I talked to one of my friends in Ventura yesterday and she was saying we haven't had any sun yet. And I really feel for for that. And so again, this is how I start my mornings, a little bit of journaling to connect to my feelings and emotions, a few scribbles, some color. Sometimes that's all I have time for, right? 10 minutes of morning art activation can be really, really powerful. So I think I'm going to come in and add some gesso over the top of this. And this canvas is going to get painted over over the next few days. But on my walk this morning, I took this picture. So this was the side of a sidewalk, the crack in the sidewalk, some of the bits of hail. There's still piles of hail everywhere from our big hail storm last night. I shared, those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, I shared a video on Facebook. It was so loud. It was crazy. And then this gorgeous green grass. And I feel like this image kind of represents those textured layers of feeling and emotion right, the depth of feeling, right, the, we get the hailstorms occasionally, but that green grass seems to come back across time. So all of these thoughts are sort of going through my head this morning, and I want to bring this idea to the, the canvas today. But it's always important for me to activate that canvas ahead of time with art marks and writing. And it's so funny because there's this piece of collage just sitting here that says, yours truly had to stay. And I'm wondering if this is maybe going to end up on the surface of my canvas. This is just a piece of, you know, leftover collage paper. But for some reason, it feels like it wants to be in here as well. So we're going to hold on to, to that piece. And I'm going to come in and get some gesso down over the top of this. I ordered this thing of gesso and the lid, I had it shipped and the lid is cracked. So it tends to come out way too fast. It needs to go into another jar. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And I need my nice catalyst wedge. I was recording a class yesterday for my mythical makeover experience, which is happening starting on June 21st and I was so I was recording bookmaking yesterday and so all my paint stuff has gotten pushed out of the way and all my bookmaking stuff was taking over so my art space here is definitely in need of some tidying and this is a little jelly arts thing that I think came with one of the the jelly plates that I got and it has this amazing texture on it and that's what I'm feeling today is like the layers of our emotions tend to just have so much texture to them and I think it's important to be mindful of those textured layers of our lives okay I'm loving this layer already good morning Marion welcome welcome and this is all going to continue to get buried and painted over and released, but every layer that I add to the piece has some type of meaning. It's an embodied expression of how I'm feeling. So marks and movements, they all contribute to help me move energy, whether it's grateful, excited, happy energy, calm energy, or sad energy. Yesterday morning, I was definitely drawing through some sad energy. And it's all good. It's not bad, but it's just the, you know, this morning I'm feeling grateful for all the feelings and emotions that I am experiencing because they're what make up the human experience, as Brene Brown says, right? Feelings and emotions are the language of our human experience. And I am reading this absolutely amazing book called Your Brain on Art, which is about a new field of neuroaesthetics. And it's all about that connection 
between what actually happens in our brain when we're exposed to the arts, whether we're painting or doodling, whether we're looking at an art exhibit, whether we're listening to music, dancing, all the different forms of art expression, making sculpture, have an impact on us and at literally a biological level. And it was so powerful to hear all the things that I say and know to be true proved by science. And while this is drawing, so I mentioned I was doing some recording a bookmaking class. So my next mythical makeover is going to be inspired by the stories of Nancy Drew. I had all of her books when I was a girl. My grandmother gifted them to me. And uh, my house burned down when I was in seventh grade, and I lost all of those books. And back in the day, books were pretty precious. It was rare to get to own books. But I found an inexpensive copy, and I have turned it into this super fun traveler's style journal inspired by Ali Manning, who gave me full permission to take her class, um, her teaching, and, and make it my own. What I absolutely love about traveler style notebooks is that they're refillable, and plus, I can take the inserts out to create new inserts and uh, or work on them outside of the journal so I don't get paint all over this lovely old cover of the book. So this is the bonus class that comes with my mythical makeover. Um, you finished your uh, brain on art last night, Marion? I haven't finished it, but yes, it's absolutely fabulous. I also reread uh, Nancy Drew, The Secret of the Old Clock, which is the first in the series this week. And I think that's contributing to some of the feelings and emotions like deep gratitude for family, deep gratitude for um, books, and also, you know, sadness over the books I've lost and I am the, and the people that I have lost as well. Okay, so Mythical Makeover starts June 21st. The link is in the description. I'd love to have you join me. So I'm going to get this a little bit dry. Doesn't need to get completely dry. And if you're just joining us, I am painting through layers of emotion and all of the different things that I am feeling grateful for, which today are finally some blue skies and sunshine, a gorgeous morning walk where things are green, but there's also a lot of detritus left from a really intense hailstorm from last night. And this is going to be a canvas that for the next few weeks, I'm going to paint over and over the same canvas. This is a 9 by 12 canvas board. I love working on these canvas boards. And it is such a practice of letting go to paint over and over the same canvas. This was a technique that I originally learned from Whitney Freya. And these two paints are just sitting here beside me. I grabbed them because they were the first paints that I saw, not because they have any significant meaning. But when I'm working in this layered experience, what always feels important is to just really trust my intuition that what I need is going to show up on the page. And this turquoise does not want to open. So maybe we're going to go for a different color. OK, it's not going to be that one today. So maybe we'll just grab this first blue that was on the top of the pile. And the next stage for me, after I've done some writing, I did some mark making with oil pastels. And I am just going to get some paint down on the page. I actually love blue and purple, so it's a, a happy combination for me. That gesso is not going to be completely dry, which is fine. So again, I'm just looking at moving some color around every swipe, every move. Everything that we do is a way to help us express emotions on the page. And the more we put them on the page, the less they're clogging up our hearts and minds with stress and overthinking. 
and I could just stop right here and be happy and done for the day, right? So if this was my morning art activation process and I only had 15 minutes, this was 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes since I did the writing before I got on the camera. But just 15 minutes of writing, a little bit of scribbling, a little bit of color, and I feel my whole body shifting. But it also has to do with the movement of the brushes. I had a client here a couple of weeks ago in the studio for an in-person session, and she was having a, a really rough time. And we just colored through it, just sheet after sheet of drawing paper and uh, oil pastels and just colored through back to where she could see out the other side. And stored emotions have been also scientifically proven to cause dis-ease in our body. And what I loved about the book, Your Brain on Art, is that it really shows the science behind why what I say and have always known to be true is that art making is radical self-care. It is as essential as eating healthy, exercise, regular checkups. It is essential to our thriving, not just surviving. And I feel incredibly fortunate that I get to do this all the time. So loving this texture, wanting to maybe come back again. I don't know what it is about the texture feels a little bit childlike and playful and just maybe wanting to play again with some of that texture. And then I'm thinking about my image of where I want to go with this, which may take a couple of days um, to get there. We'll see. But again, I love the, the texture of this. Yeah, you're welcome, Blanca. It's um, it's such a great book. Looking for medical journals on art and human behavior. So um, there are quite a few studies done, and so the book has a great bibliography of different studies that have been done on the benefits of art. Also, the American Art Therapy Association is a great source for finding more information that way as well. So this is a super fun canvas. And um, it would be great to just uh, pause here and be done with the, the canvas for today. And because that's how I'm feeling and I'm like, I want this to dry, I want the texture to be there, I don't necessarily know where I want to go next with it. Um, I am. I am going to pause for today. We're going to keep this video particularly short and then... Tomorrow I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint over all of this and look at the difference in the colors of those and the different direction that it's going to take me. So not a lot of similarities in that color that we can see, but that kind of feels like where, where this canvas wants to go. But I think this is like I can feel complete today. And so one of the things with my morning art activation is that I feel into completeness. I feel into, okay, I'm good, I've been there, um, I've done enough for now. And it would be easy to just keep working, but it doesn't feel right. So I'm going to really honor and listen to that and feel complete because like this is, there's something magical here and I don't have my phone right in front of me right now. So I want to be able to look at all that cool texture, take a photo of this so that I can use it later. That's the other part of this painting layers over and over again is to make sure that you photograph each of your layers so that you capture where you were in that particular moment. And those layers can then become collage material or memories or just let you know and see where you're going. Um, <laughs> so Leslie, yes, I answered the question. So we're good for today, my friends. Thank you for joining me for um, our first Painting Through Layers of Emotion session this week. I'll be back tomorrow morning at our new summertime, 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So thanks for being here live with me today. This is Manette. This is Painting in Your PJs. And I am so happy to be starting my day with these super lovely, fun, painty hands. 
Have a beautiful rest of your day, my friends. See you all soon. Bye-bye.